classification of amino acids based on nutritional requirements so based on whether our body needs that amino acid or not we can classify amino acids into essential amino acids and what non-essential amino acids now there are some amino acids that can be synthesized by our body and there are some amino acids that cannot be synthesized in the body so the ones that cannot be synthesized in your body but you need it what do you do you need to get it from outside source right now the amino acids that you cannot synthesize that cannot be synthesized in your body is essential that you get it from the diet right when they say something is essential it is important right it is necessary so those ones that cannot be synthesized by the body is essential it is essential it is important that you get it from your diet so essential amino acids are those amino acids that cannot be synthesized in the body right are we following they cannot be synthesized in the body and so there it is essential that you get it from your diet two of us two now examples of these essential amino acids are histidine leucine isoleucine valine threonine phenylalanine lysine methionine tryptophan arginine now note the fact that if it cannot be synthesized in the body we say is it essential or non-essential if it's, it cannot be synthesized in the body it is essential that you get it from your diet right essential so essential amino acids are those that cannot be synthesized now these ones cannot be synthesized in your body so it is necessary that you get it from your diet but out of this histidine and arginine are exceptions because they can be synthesized partly not wholly they can be synthesized partly in the body and so strictly speaking they are not essential they are called semi essential amino acids because they can be synthesized partly in the body now the non essential amino acids are those that our body can synthesize them so it is not necessary that we get it from our diet it is not essential that we get it from our diet because our body can synthesize it do you understand so non-essential we can synthesize it so it is non-essential to get it from our diet it is not necessary that we get it from our diet examples of those ones you can synthesize in your body glycine alanine proline thyroxine aspartic acid glutamic acid serine asparagine glutamine cysteine now how do you remember this thing that's the issue now how will you remember that this one is uh, this one is essential this one is non-essential so i'll give you acronyms well that's to remember essential give you acronyms i'll give you acronym for non-essential but i'll do that at the end of the class so now i just want you to understand do we know what essential amino acid is is it those ones you can synthesize or those ones you cannot synthesize you cannot synthesize so it is essential you get it from your diet non-essential you can synthesize it right so it is not necessary that you get it from your diet do you understand that any question no question all right